Well, I was really interested in biomedical engineering and Georgia Tech has the second ranked biomedical engineering department in the nation. A lot of the research is dealing with, you know, working with stem cells or working more on like a chemical base, not like a physiology base. So I wasn't really inclined to doing research, but then I was, you know, thinking about it. I was like, oh, maybe there's something there that I really want to do. So I found this and I was like, oh, this is really exciting. One of the issues that we are interested in is how the motor cortex, the the brain area that controls movement can affect the moving capability when the uh, sympathetic nerve activity is heightened. We're looking at how your sympathetic nerve activity affects your autonomic nervous system. So what we do is, um, as you can see, we have this uh, tank lying on the bed. So we are um, simulating orthostatic stress. So the stress that happens from if you're lying in bed and you sit up and all the blood rushes from your head. So instead of having people sit, lying down and sitting up, which causes a lot of other variables that we can't really account for, we suck the air out of the tank, which covers them from the hips down, which creates pressure on your legs, which causes the blood to come from your head to your legs. So that increases your sympathetic nerve activity. We use transcranial magnetic stimulation to induce a specific motor activity. And we see what that looks like just under normal situations, their hand at rest without the LBNP, LBNP tank on. And then we'll go through again, except we'll turn the tank on and see what their motor activity looks like when we have the tank on so their sympathetic nerve activity is increased. And we'll see what the motor activity looks like then.